Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Super Mario Sunshine. I think during these dark winter months, we could all use a little bit of sun and R&R, &R, and that's what we're going to do here today. Um, Mario Sunshine is one of the 3D Mario games that they started producing back when they thought... They were done with 2D Mario's. 3D has is the new 2D, it's replacing everything. Of course, eventually the new Super Mario Brothers on DS, and then eventually on Wii would revive the 2D games. But for a while there, everything was sort of 3D. Still good games, but uh, I think different in style. I think a 3D Mario game is more of an exploration game, whereas 2D is more of like a, it's almost like a race. It's like a 2D parkour race, but. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing this one here today. Um, I think I have played this Mario game once before, just a little bit, like at a friend's house. I never, like, sat down and played through it. Uh, for those of you who follow my channel, one of my own gaming blind spots are basically Nintendo consoles after the Super Nintendo, you know, like the last... Oh, there's, like, a shadowy Mario. I wonder, I wonder what the story's going to be. Peach is always getting kidnapped. Bowser's going to show up and kidnap her. Mario's in love with the food, apparently. He's got a willing and able princess girlfriend next to him. He's dreaming about sleeping. The old man wants to sleep. Mario wants to eat. And she's like, what What am I doing this vacation for? Why did I choose to come to this vacation? Uh, but anyway, one of my own gaming blind spots is I never owned an N64. never owned a GameCube. Uh, never owned a Wii. And then I finally came back in the Wii U era only for Mario Maker. And then... Uh, I have a Switch because of Mario Maker, and I've been playing Mario Wonder recently, actually, which is a very, very good game. Um, but, uh, yeah, largely I kind of moved away from Nintendo um, around the N64 era, and I went to things like PlayStation, Xbox, PC. So, yeah, anyway. Um, so let's see what I was missing. Um, let's go ahead and create a game slot. Go ahead and create that file. And... Sure. I don't know. Oh, I have to, like, bump one of these. All right. A. We will start it. All right. Off to the races we go. Now, I guess I actually can't skip. <laughs> Jeez. You know, the more and more we play games from the 2000s, the more I feel like skippable cutscenes. How many times do I have to say it? I mean, I don't have to say it because most games nowadays will respect gamers and give them skippable cutscenes but like there was this weird era in the early 2000s where it's like developers were like no no bad gamer you can't skip this and they forced you to sit through these random scenes i mean you know i mean you don't, you don't want to be lost in a mario game you know oh there's like metal mario i mean i guess you don't want to be usually it's always bowser uh, who's the bad guy? I just assumed he was going to show up, but, you know, Metal Mario, I'm actually intrigued. I have always thought Mario's rogue gallery was woefully underused. Mario's like Batman. He could be fighting Donkey Kong, Wario, Metal Mario, Wart. Bowser is Mario's Joker. Like, don't get me wrong, Bowser should be generally the big bad guy behind a lot of things, but... I think it's like if you overuse Joker, then Batman becomes boring. I have long thought they really need to do more with Mario's other villains, so it's not always just a Bowser... Bowser fest, you know? Um, but whatever, I don't know. Anyway, the cutscene was short, let's just go. Oh! <laughs> I think I instantly fell in lava, and I'm dying. Oh god! Oh, what is happening? Oh, this is embarrassing! Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Alright. Well, I'm uh, two hits down, so we'll see. Oh, here we go. So the namesake of this game, Super Mario Sunshine. Well, you're on like an island paradise, obviously. Mario has his sleeves rolled up, so he's a little different. Uh, but you get to like run around and uh, shoot water at things. All these 3D Mario games have some sort of like interesting little gimmick. I know Mario Galaxies, you have your little Wii wand to pick up stars and you could run around globes in 3d um there's mario sunshine i'm trying to think what are the other 3d mario games i guess what was the mario one on switch where you throw your hat and you possess the soul the underlying you know metaphysical soul of whatever creature you've inhabited with your hat you bend their will to your own like uh, being john malkovich an existential horror of its own uh, making 
Um, that's that's the Nintendo Switch Mario game, fun little game. Uh, but anyway, we can go into spray mode and jetpack mode, giving us a little tutorial, which I'm talking through. So we'll just have to figure it out on our own. And then when we're out of water, though, then you gotta go, and I think you just gotta hop in the water and fill it back up. Boom! And up goes the tank. All right, good to know. We'll take it from here, a little weird sentient hose. We've got this one. Uh, no, I do not. No, I do not. I would like to know the stats on, like, uh, how many people click yes to, like, please let me hear that again. Um, but anyway, alright, so... Can we go to a different place? Oh, wait. Click here. It's our totals. Okay, so this is just a map. I saw the right bumper, and I guess... Let's right trigger. Okay, right, right trigger to shoot. And then X to switch modes. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so look at this. We can clean up this huge mess. Oh, God. Can we not jump infinitely? Oh, goodness. So, like, is this lava or paint? I don't quite understand. Anyway, let's, uh... Oops, getting used to the controls here. Down you go, weird blob. Oh, it's like a piranha plant made of paint. Go, 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 go. Get it. Spray it in the mouth hole. Oh, goodness. Aiming is a little difficult here. This is sort of like Nintendo's attempt at a third-person shooter, and the controls leave something to be desired. They're not horrible, but... Just having played a lot of third-person shooters, I'm like, I could see how this could have been a little better, but it's fine. It's acceptable. Alright, let's get this... star. Woohoo! Power to the people! Shine your troubles away! Alright, Peach, well, we have cleared the runway. If you want to go to the all-inclusive, pick out on the buffet, lay by the beach... Um, I'll do all the manual labor on our vacation here. I'll take care of it. Oh, here comes some... <laughs> the chubby local... Oh, it's police! I was gonna... I was like, the chief has come to reward us. We're getting arrested. They're like, throw his Italian ass in the slammer, boys. Oh, they did, too! That was a bit of a joke. All right. Oh, my God, he's, like, going through the whole court system. He's got a defense attorney. <laughs> This is, like, legit. Normally, in video games, you get arrested and stuff. It's just, like, it's like a mock thing, but this is, like... There's a whole bail system you gotta do in this game. You gotta find character references. Fly Luigi in. Say some nice things about you. You know, there's, like, a, a, a jury. A voir dire selection system. You know, you gotta go through the whole process here. The, the, a lot of people think Mario Sunshine is a platformer, but really it's a legal simulation. You know, if you've ever been out on parole, you know what it's like to be in Mario Sunshine's world. Let's just say it ain't all kittens and sunshine. Somebody threw paint on this sun. So many bad things happened to this island. It's all, oh, they, it's, I see. I understand. Interesting. So, it's because Metal Mario is off doing these bad things. They think Mario Mario is the one doing it. Interesting. Okay, so we've got found guilty. And now we have to clean the whole island. It's kind of interesting that that was the motive. They're like, you know, if we just sort of had a messy island and Mario decided to clean it, that's not exciting enough. We need to go in and uh, create a whole court legal, like law and order episode around this. It's kind of interesting. And, you know, I've said this before, but in the old Mario games, you just put that thing in, you just start it. It's like, you know, oh, I'm supposed to jump on Goombas, Koopas, I don't know. Oh, I'm saving little toad people. Oh, this time I'm picking up vegetables. Like, nothing ever made made sense. I, I never, never once in my life did I play a Mario game and have questions about what was going on. You know? Like, they're giving you so much backstory here. It's like, <laughs> I guess it's fine. 
I don't know. I complain about this all the time. I suppose I'm like a broken record. You guys are like, shut up and enjoy the cutscene, but... I don't know what to say. I'm an old school gamer, and this stuff gets me every time. Every time I see it, I'm like, this is... Is this excessive? Excessive, right? I don't know. Does somebody... Do I, Does anyone out there care about the lore and the backstory of Mario? Is it just, is it just me who doesn't care? Is everyone else invested in this? I know when Mario... So Mario Wonder famously leaked online... Oh god, don't give me that explanation. Famously leaked online about uh, a week before it uh, actually came out. So you could download like a ROM and play it and all this stuff. Um, and uh, people started posting like 100% playthroughs and stuff before the game even officially launched. And people were like, hey, careful, you don't want to get spoilers. And other people in the comments were like, "I, is it possible to spoil a Mario game? Like, what do you spoil? <laughs> like, what is the plot? Bowser kidnapped Peach. You know, I just spoiled you on every Mario game ever. Uh, I mean, I guess, I guess, you know, you could get spoiled on, like, the levels. Like, maybe it, it is fun to, like, um, go into, uh, go into a new Mario game and discover new levels and new mechanics and stuff. So, I mean, I guess there's something to the spoiling thing. But it also is sort of funny to think about, like, seriously, like, you guys are worried about spoiling a Mario game? Okay, let's clean all this trash up. It's a bit like Splatoon, actually. It's reminding me a little bit of Splatoon. Okay, these little blobs. I have to say that the, uh, yeah, the, the, the hose mechanics don't feel great to me. Again, as someone who plays a lot of third-person shooters, I can envision a better shooting system. Because here's the thing, once I'm holding the trigger, the left thumbstick just aims the hose, right? But when I'm not holding the trigger, the left thumbstick runs around. What we should do here is have sort of like a, a strafing movement thing where the left thumbstick always moves, the right thumbstick lets you aim, um, and when you're shooting the hose, you can still move and shoot at the same time. Like, that's that's the big thing. I'm I'm just planted in the ground as I shoot. So it's like there's there's nothing I can do to dodge enemies. Mario third-person shooter. That actually sounds like it could be awesome. Okay, can we get this guy already? Oh my god, the controls. There we go, I think we almost got him. There we go, he's dead. Hosed him down! Hosed that pile of puke back into the ocean, boys. Oh look, Mario gets a huge statue. Like a huge statue. Oh, Metal Mario's on there. Mario? No, that she's like, is that? Could that be Mario? He seems cooler and made of silver. Oh, he's here to paint the. Sh <laughs> Pardon the language. He's here to paint the shit out of you, princess. Oh no, he just took her. Uh, all right, let's go. Let's go, boys. It's time for the action. All right, stop the criminal with some water. All right, let's do it. Hee-haw! I'm gonna hose this guy down, something bad. Oh shit, where'd he go? Mario! Save me, Mario! Oh, we're so close. Okay, where's he going? Oh! I think I almost got him. Oh, I think I jumped on a toad. Oh, we're, we're in front of him. Oh, God. Oh, did I get him a bit? A little bit. Okay, where are you going, buddy? Oh! Can't tell if I'm getting him or not. Okay, so you just go in this loop forever, I guess? Oh, God, I... Had my opportunity, and I... Uh, to shoot water while moving, press R lightly. Can't do it. Okay, got him a bit. <laughs> you know what's sad? Is so I'm playing this on emulator. I don't know if you can press it lightly. They might have trapped us. This might be the best anti-emulation thing Nintendo's ever done. Boom! Boom! Come on, buddy. Where are ya? 
He's behind me, I know it. Or not. Oh, he's pissed off. He's just left. So hold on, let's see if we can... Like, like, this is a terrible control scheme. To have to, like, tap... Tap the button lightly. To get it to, uh... Work? Oh. Oh, he's going a different route now. Stop the criminal. Oh god. Oh, there's controls. Uh Okay, here we go. We got him. Nice try, punk. Oh, we missed him. We got him a bit. Oh, this is so painful. Yeah, I'm just gonna clear this garbage. He comes running up here. Oh, you bastard. Alright, I fixed it. My bad. We were playing crippled. There we go. Alright, it's not helping me, but... Oh, there we go. That is so much better. Still, I'm not hitting him at all. There we go. We saved her. Alright, pro tip. Don't complain about the controls if you haven't done any effort to fix them. I'll remember that for next time. Anyway, we turned him into... We got rid of him. He's like, oh my goodness. Hello. B e button. I'm sure I saw the person out on the airstrip. I'm positive he's responsible for all the chaos. Chase him! Alright, which way to the air? So here, let's clean you off, buddy. Give you a hose down. Free hose downs! Anyone- for anyone who wants them. Just stand still and... Let me do the work. Oops. Okay, so you can shoot and move at the same time. So I take it back. The controls are better than I originally was giving them credit for. Like, the whole thing of being paused. By spraying it with water. He escaped into the graffiti. Whoa! <laughs> it got me too! Bianco Hills. I have a feeling this Metal Mario guy isn't gonna be so bad at the end of the day. Like, I know he's doing- he's causing some trouble, but like... Hey, we've all been there. We've all been young, right? Everybody's gotten into a bit of trouble when they were young. I know I have. We all have. But, uh, anyway. Let's hose you down. Give you a free hose down. Wet t-shirt contests all around! Here, get some too, lady. Imagine just walking around with a hose on a backpack and just spraying random civilians down. That'd be pretty funny, actually. Probably get arrested. It is- it probably counts as a form of assault, I would think. Oh, look at this tightrope walking, that's fun. Mario always has a lot of, like, little fun- Oh, I, he, okay, we're going up here now. Mario always has a lot of little fun mechanics. Little fun, unique mechanics. Yeehaw! Okay, now what? Oh, we'll go over here, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where we're going. Guess we're going this way. I'd love to see where I'm going, but oh goodness. Okay, let's just jump in here. Why not? Oh, we can't. Okay. Can we jump over here? We can. I, I don't know where we're going, but we're exploring. See, this is what I mean about 3D Mario games are more about exploration, you know? It's not that 2D Mario games didn't have things to explore. It's not that 2D Mario games didn't have secrets or anything. They definitely did. They had alternate paths through levels, but... 3D Mario games are really, like, you know, just a, a different beast, you know. Whee! Oops. Oh, we're back on a- okay, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, I see a blob over here that needs painting, probably. Or not painting, spraying. I keep going on this. Where does this actually go? Because I want to go over here. Oh, goodness. Spray you down. Alright, pumpkin creature. 
Now the funny thing is before I could only spray and aim. Now I don't know how to aim up. <laughs> oh goodness. Like with the old control scheme, I could only stand still and aim. But now if I want to actually not move, I don't know how to do it. So like, what I'm basically saying is I don't know if I know how to kill this thing. You hold down R until it clicks. It will stand still while you squirt. That's hilarious. Now the emulator can't do that. <laughs> I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Oh, well, I, I don't feel like resetting the emulator controls again and, you know, as always, we're just here to explore the game. Let's just have a little fun in this first level here. Get a bit of Mario sunshine in. Um, oh, let's do this. Huh. Oh, look at this. We're flying. How fun is that? Huh. We are flying, folks. Oh, no. Oh. I was trying to jump there. It didn't let me jump. Okay, hold on. Power it up. Oh, you can use it while you're underwater. That's cool. Get a little speed boost. Yeah. Okay, I wonder if I could just remap a different button here. Do the arrow keys... The arrow keys don't seem to do anything. All right, hold on. Time out. Okay, let's just see if this works. Oh, it does. Well, it's gonna be hard to control. Well, there we go. All right. So I can now... <laughs> I can now do both of the uh, things that I wanted to do. There we go. I can now aim as well. As needed. Alright. Spray, 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 spray. Alright, get you right in the face. Oh, ow. Alright, come here, plant creature. Ow. Come here, plant creature. In the old mouth. Oh. Guess I need to wait for the proper timing. Hey, come on. Oh, his mouth is open. Boom, we got him. Mouth is open, boom, we got him. I was gonna say, Jesus, how much- how much water can this stain take? One persistent stain. Like the most virulent chocolate stain I've ever seen in my life. Alright, we, we did it! Huzzah! I keep worrying that I'm gonna run out of water, but I guess you have to fire your, uh, your hose a lot to run out of water. It's not just like, uh, something that happens frequently. Mario's water pack is big and deep. Oh, did we pass the whole level? I- I didn't- I wasn't trying to do that. I didn't realize it happened so fast. Everyone on this island loves to do the box breaker. Jump and press the L button. We have to do it this way. Yeah. Alright. It's kind of interesting how- so I guess the GameCube the triggers, even when you pulled the trigger all the way, it didn't fully click, and then when you pull at the very end, it had to click. Honestly, that's kind of an interesting control mechanic I wish modern games had. Because it's sort of like how the analog sticks have like a click, like the left and the right analog stick, you can click in. If you could pull the trigger, but then if you pulled it all the way, it clicked. It would do like a secondary shoot. I I actually kind of like that. And I'm kind of remembering now that, yeah, the GameCube actually totally did do that, didn't it? Um, so that's kind of cool. I, uh... My, my current controller doesn't do that, so hence, uh, you know... I'm, I had to, uh... Basically, I signed the left and right clicks to be the D-pad, left and right, and then my left and right trigger are the, are the trigger, so... My control scheme's a little funky for this game, but it's playable. It's certainly playable. Hello, can I ride your boat? Can I hose this boat down for you? 
<laughs> so my only complaint with this little jetpack is it seems to like run out of steam too fast. And with like little notice, like it doesn't feel like it goes long enough. I don't know. Hello. What's going on in your basket? Work for a little bit. I'd love for you to bring me some fruit. Bring her three pineapples. She's like dancing. Ooh yeah, somebody's getting me some sweet pea apples. PAs as I like to call them. It's pineapple? I think that's a pineapple. I mean, it looks like a pear actually. There. Close enough, lady, you old bag. <laughs> Alright, let's do a butt stomp. Where am I? I don't... I don't think I've seen a single pineapple. I mean, again, these things... They're more pears than anything, but... Whatever. I also don't know how I would get it in her basket. Oh, I guess you just jump. Oh, I just through it. If we just jump. How do I get all the way up there? I'm like sp doing spin jumps and stuff. Well, <laughs> well, there goes the pineapples I brought you, lady. I don't know. I don't, you know what? I'm not your errand boy. You know what, lady? Screw you. I ain't your errand boy. Um, so obviously this is, this is a bit of a hub world. They want us to do mo more errands than I really, uh, care to do today, so we're not gonna bother with those. I just want to find another portal, mess around in another world a little bit. Because frankly, I just want to do more levels. I don't care about all this hub world, you know, fetch quests, secrets, unlocking different merchants, all this... All, it's like all the extra nonsense they, they tacked onto Mario games. Sometimes I'm like, I could do without. Just I, li literally give me a menu that shows me World 1, Stage 2, with an A button, and I will press that and move on. I don't necessarily want to do, like, all this exploration stuff, right? It's like, it's fine. It's not bad. But it is also, like, if you don't want to do it, it's sort of tedious. And I somehow got trapped out of the ocean. Okay. Can I just... How do I get out of here? <laughs> Jesus Christ, can I get to another level here? Like swimming through the bloody ocean. It's my own fault for jumping in, but I mean like... Okay, I guess they, uh... Oops. I'm gonna see if I can make it across there with the jetpack. I feel like I definitely can't. Whoa! Oh, I did! There we go. Okay. There's a big red button here. There's gotta be something. Oh, it's a guy. What's he saying? Hello. Says, These repairs are really rough, I'm telling you. It'll be a while. Alright, well, thanks for nothing. Alright, are we- do we really have to go find these pineapples for this- this lady? That's kind of ridiculous. Everyone- Metal Mario is definitely wanted. Hey, you can clean the posters. Get a coin. Alright. Well, my- here my- here's my only thoughts, um... Oh, there's like a net. We go in here? Hello? Hello? We bust your boxes? Uh, here we go. Gonna bust all your merchandise, sir. I wonder if we're supposed to do this, or he's gonna be really mad that we did this. Like, taking his livelihood away. Now that I've started, I kind of want to break them all. Hiya! Hiya! And... Hiya! Nothing. A absolutely nothing. Alright, what does this guy have to say? Break all the crates within 30 seconds to win a prize. You want to try? Yes. Oh, so I am supposed to break them all. Oh, Jesus. 30 seconds is kind of a tight deadline here. Especially when I'm bad at the controls. 
Oh no, come on. Gotta get like two at a time here. Oh, come on. Six. Four. Three. Two. Oh, we did it! Barely. Alright, we get a star for a or, or, uh, sun or whatever the hell that is. A star sun. Yeehaw! Shine, bitches! Alright, save and continue. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Alright, here we go. Oh! Oh, look! Something has actually happened. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so I guess as you do little quests, little things will open up. The thing is, I have no idea where that was. Okay, we will go look at that. Before we do, though, I don't want to get sucked into this portal. Because I feel like, I totally feel like we weren't done with this world. Oh, look at this. Oh, you can just keep playing levels. This is, see, this is what I wanted to do. Okay. You know what? They have a little menu here where you can just like more and more worlds. Alright, let's get to this. Ooh, look. Oh, look at that guy. There's a piranha plant on a beach vacation hanging on top of a windmill lighthouse. Oh, sprinklers are so fun in the summer. Do you guys ever, like, sometimes when I'm on a walk in the summer, I'm on the sidewalk and there's, like, a sprinkler and it's spraying on the sidewalk, I intentionally don't walk... Like, I don't try and avoid the sprinkler. If it hits me, it hits me. And it's sort of, like, nice to get sprayed, sprinkled just a little bit, you know what I mean? Like, when it's really hot out. Um, yeah, like, green grass, the smell of fresh-cut grass is awesome. Um, sprinklers... I don't know. People walking their dogs out with their kids. I'm trying to think of what other summery things there are. The, the ironic truth is that in the summer, I become a basement-dwelling <laughs> troll demon. I don't know, not, not an actual troll demon, but a basement-dweller, because the thing is, I actually don't really like the heat all that much. Um, and I like the beach in theory, but I also find the beach gets quite dirty. And I'm also not a fan of just getting dirty in general, so it's like, I'm um, not like a clean freak, but, you know, I don't know, just... Randomly getting dirty is not my thing. Oh, it's funny how you fill those guys with water until they explode. Um, so I just prefer the air conditioning. Um, and I also sort of like chilling out in basements because they tend to be cooler. Not just like weird old basements, but like nice carpeted basements, you know, with like drywall and paint and stuff. So, oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that was a pit. I was not paying attention. Uh, okay, that's okay. Well... We'll go back there. Yeah, having a bit of flight is handy, actually. Ah. Okay. So whoa. Yeah, let's jump and oh god. Okay. Fall. Um, but anyway, long story short, I like the the sweet, cool caress of air conditioning and chilled out basement, so... As much as I do sort of have these idealized things that I like in summer, like fresh cut lawns and sprinklers and stuff, I also, like if I'm being totally realistic, I also like to just hang out in the basement and be cool. Be nice and chill. Another thing I do really like, though, is like summer evening air. Like, just cracking a window in the evening and just, like, smelling the air that's out there. It's very nice and refreshing. Hey, let's fill up our water. Boom, we did it. I was kind of thinking, I'm like, man, we're getting low on water here. What are we going to do when we get to the top? But uh, I guess they thought of everything. Oh, God. Oh, that one's spiky. Oh, my God. Oh, can we spray this down? Hold on, we should do the, um... Uh... This... There you go. Woohoo! We got a blue coin! We got a blue coin, collect ten of them to visit the Delfino Plaza. Nice. 
All right, let's hop on this bad boy here. Oh, oh God! I almost jumped to my death. Get on, Jesus, Mario. It's cool how it's sort of like a cross between a windmill and a Ferris wheel. It's kind of fun. Okay, so if we want to spray an aim, we have to do this. Got it. All right, that guy looks like the guy we're supposed to get. He's sort of like dancing. Okay, no, he is a bad. I was gonna say he doesn't look like a bad guy actually, but no, he's a bad guy. He's in his underwear or a swimsuit or something. Uh, are we fighting him? What's happening? <laughs> yeah, the ceiling just collapsed for. No apparent reason. Alright, well. Start spraying this guy. Whoa! Okay, we gotta... Spray him in his mouth, maybe? Be careful the sludge he sprays. Okay. Gonna wait. Oh, he's ready to spray. I'm gonna fill his stomach with water. Oh, there we go. Oh, and then do we have to, like, ground pound him? Oh. That's what I went to do. I was like, wait, 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 wait. I got the buttons wrong. Anyway, okay. Interesting mechanics. We can get this guy. Eat it, buddy! Alright, here we go. Boom! Plenty more where that came from, Chuck. I feel like this guy must be very confused as to why he's being- why he's fighting right now. Well, I'm force-feeding him water. Uh, God. Get up there, Mario. Ah. Pound that water out of his belly button. Like a champion. Oh, he turned him into goo himself. Turns out he was just an elaborate pile of goo. And we got the star. We're heroes! Woohoo! Shine, bitches! Mario will be shiny in chrome and ride eternal. The Morton Joe himself will carry him to the gates of Valhalla. Actually, maybe that's what Metal Mario wants. He want he does want to be shiny in chrome. Just need him to shout, Witness me! as he fights Mario at the final boss battle. All right, one more level. Let's do it. Bianco Hills, Hillside Cave Secrets. I'm... I'm down. Oh, we gotta find that secret. Okay. Now, is this the same level every time or do they keep changing it? I can't tell. It does start almost the exact same. There's a windmill way up there, too. Ow. I think it is the same level, but we're, we're supposed to be doing different things in the level each time. Whoops. Not 100% sure. Oh, I, like, literally pounded on that guy's head. Sorry, buddy. Okay, let's go this way. There we go. We spray these flowers. Is that the bad guy I woke up or what? I don't know, let's just spray him away. Yeah, I don't know if doing anything with those flowers is a waste of time or what, but Oh, you can actually get stuff out of those guys. I don't know. Well, whatever. I don't care about killing them. I don't really care about coins. 
Mario doesn't really care about material possession or money. Okay, there's that windmill thingy. Oh, look at that. Those guys. Alright, let's actually hose this down, though. That blue coin. Mario doesn't care, care about money, but he's all he's still all about getting paid in the blue coinage. As it turns out, let's blow you up against the <laughs> like splatter it's it's like slaughterhouse. You like splatter him into the wall. It's pretty funny. Oops. Oh. Not what I meant to do. There we go. Let's clean this off. It's like recovering. It's like a regenerative, uh, a graffiti almost. Okay, and the- Oh, and there's another one over there. There's an X. Yeah, there's that secret over there. What does the X do? Like, uh, hold on a sec. Where was it? So if I, uh, oops. Here, this X. X marks the spot. Huh. Oh, magic coin. Oh, it comes out like another spot. Interesting. Okay. I mean, there's definitely a lot of secrets here to explore and find. That's fun. If you like secrets, you'll have fun. Oh, those! I was like, what are those flower guys? They're, they're part of the cactus guy from Mario 2. I didn't even recognize. That's pretty cool, actually. I would say he he and Shy Guys are two of the Mario 2 bad guys who've shown up in the most things, but probably the Cactus Guy more even than the Shy Guys. Although, actually, I don't know, because the Cactus Guy... Oh, wait, where am I going? I think I'm taking a detour in the wrong way. Um, the Cactus Guys were in Mario World, but the Shy Guys were in Mario World 2. And Shy Guys are in, like, Luigi's Mansion and stuff. But I feel like the Cactus guy is just in more stuff. I don't know. Mario 2's whole, like, villain roster is sort of... Half of them have been used for stuff, and the other half have just, like, totally been forgotten. Oh, no, we do want to go that way across the, the thingy. Um... It's one of those things of, like, where have you seen Birdo? You know, I think Birdo was in, like, one racing game. One Mario Kart. Uh, since Mario 2. Or, like, where have you seen... What's that, like, orange flying bird that you ride at several times? Oh, or I guess bob -omb's. You know what? I take it back. Oh, crap. bob -omb's are probably even more common than the cactus guy, and they're an enemy that came from Mario 2. Um, but there's other enemies, too, that you don't really see. I'm trying to think. Oh, uh, the magic carpet riding, like, Pidget or whatever. Never see that guy. Um, you never see, uh, the fire boss guy, or Triclide. Um, you never see the mouser bomb guy. There's, ver there's just various villains from- oh crap. Mario 2 that you just never see. I think this goes back to what I was saying earlier about Mario. Mario has a really deep rogues gallery that I think you could do more with. I feel like the henchman monsters, whatever it is what it is, every game has some different ones, there's some common ones. I mean, we haven't seen Goombas or Koopas in this Mario yet, which almost is sacrilege for a Mario game. Uh, but I think whatever whatever you think about the henchmen, there's certainly a lot more room to do more with the um, more with the villains, the big villains. Here we go! Boom! Whoa! God! Okay. Ah, uh, 3D platforming is not my forte. I'm always like miscalculating the jumps and stuff, but... Okay, can you grab this, Mario? Grab it! Get it, Mario! Jump! Ah, uh, there you go, you did it, buddy. Okay. This is the cave? Hey, we did it! We made it to the cave. Whoa! <laughs> Turns out the cave is just- Oh! He stole my backpack, you bastard! Oh, now you have to do a level without the backpack. That's kind of cool. 
sort of like a challenge level. Yeah. Yeah. This looks scarier than it is. Whoa! Okay, I still don't know how to get him to do those super jumps consistently, so... Oh my god, this is... I just... Oh my god, Mario! I just randomly decided to do one of those, bro. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that! Uh, I like how I was just saying how like I'm not very good with the uh, 3d platforming and then they throw me in like a 3d platforming challenge mode But I'm gonna prove to you guys that uh, anything is possible if you believe in yourselves. So I'm gonna do this not for me Not even for you But for me Oh god Okay, I'm gonna jump on this thing. Oh! <laughs> Technical difficulties, stand by. Okay, we got- we got this. The next shot, we- we got this. The next shot, we got this. Alright, let's do this, Mario. I'm sure somebody's speedrunning this. I, I always wonder when I'm struggling on levels, I'm like, what does a good run of this look like? And you can just imagine some some dude who like speedruns Mario games like flying through this stuff there we go see I knew we would get that oh oh okay I see what's happening here these are big blocks that are gonna push me off I thought that part would look a little too easy oh god totally kind of misjudged that fuck jump See, I knew, like, like, here's the thing. I fell off that ledge not because I didn't think there was a ledge there, or I wanted to do that, but, uh, just, I didn't control Mario very well. Look how fast we did that, though. Oh, God. <laughs> I think Mario can wall jump, so I think if you fall on one of those orange bricks, you can bounce back, but... Oh, I didn't even, you know, I didn't even realize we had lives. I thought this was, like, a, Mar a modern Mario game where it was infinite, but... I guess even in Mario Wonder, you now have lives. Um, anyway, I guess I should have taken that a little slower at the end, but uh, it is what it is. Um, Super Mario Sunshine here is one of the books in... One of the books in the game, a thousand and one books you must play before you die. I, I don't know, I totally messed that up. Um, it's one of the games in the book. Um, obviously, I think, uh, you know, as we've talked about many times, the book includes a number of iconic and, you know, just big games, and uh, I don't think you could make a thousand one list without including, you know, the, the Mario games. Um, in, in my own personal opinion, the original trilogy plus Mario World really makes up, like, the, the most iconic retro versions of Mario. Um, I have enjoyed... Pretty much all of the modern 2D Marios, like the Super Mario Brothers Wii and Wii U, and especially Wonder, I've been having a lot of fun with. I should probably do a video on Wonder, just just for funsies to show you guys. Um, but you know, the 3D games might not have been my cup of tea. And I think even to this day, I would I I will say straight up, they're not my cup of tea. I'm not a huge fan of the 3D platforming, but. I also recognize, like, everyone I knew who had, like, a GameCube was playing this, and, you know, as far as 3D platformers go, it is a very high-quality platformer, so, um, yeah, if, if you like 3D platformers, if you like, uh, Mario games, hey, we got up on the roof, that's cool, um, you know, certainly you're gonna have a lot of fun with this one, so, um, and, you know, whether it's your cup of tea or not, I think we can all agree that it is... Definitely one of the most iconic franchises, gaming franchises out there. You know, there was a time when kids knew who Mickey Mouse was. You know, uh, like just everyone just <laughs> knew Mickey Mouse. Whether you liked him or not, you knew who he was. I think that era is done. And I think if you ask most kids who Mickey Mouse is, some would know, some wouldn't. But if you ask them who Mario is, every single kid on this planet would know. I think Mario has just become the new Disney to the point where... It's like, his games are just iconic, almost because they're Mario games. Uh, and I don't, and I, I don't mean that they're not also good games, I mean the quality is certainly here. Again, this is one of the best 3D platformers you will probably find on the GameCube. Um, but, uh, you know, the Mario franchise speaks for itself.
quality, fun, enjoyment. So, yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think of Super Mario Sunshine here? Is it a game that you played back in the day? And if so, uh, what did you really enjoy about it? What, what sort of made it special and different and unique for you compared to, like, you know, I don't know, like Mario 64 or some of the other Mario games that had come before, especially the 3D ones that, uh, that you enjoyed? Um, let me know down in the comments below. And as always, guys, I hope you did have a little bit of fun here today because that is ultimately the point of what we're doing. If you had fun... If you had a chuckle, make sure you've slapped that subscribe button. You should unsubscribe and subscribe again just for the fun of it. And uh, other than that, guys, I will see you in a couple days for a new video and a new game. Oh, and I should mention, too, two very quick announcements. If you're sticking to the end here, you're, you're a diehard fan, so you're going to want to hear these announcements. Two quick announcements. One is that between the development of my Metal Mercs game and my life, I think I have come to a realization that I am just too busy to make three videos a week consistently, you know. So in the past, I have always tried to do 2001 videos and then one Saturday afternoon gaming video where I play whatever I want. And I just have to be honest with myself that it just feels like right now that isn't sustainable. Um, now, is that going to be how things are going to change forever? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. But I didn't... I haven't been putting out three videos a week for the last two weeks or so. And just so you guys know what's going on, it likely will be down to two videos a week. And with, that means I'll focus more on the 1001 stuff, and there may be less Saturday afternoon gaming videos uh, for a while. But the other announcement is, as always, we usually go on a little bit of a Christmas break uh, in December. Um, and I pause the 1001 quest, and we um, work, uh, and instead we play some some other games. And as I've done before, I am planning a fan stravaganza event where you guys recommend the games, we all vote on them, and then the winners become games I play. I think last year I did a 12 Days of Nesmus. Um, as I just said, uh, you know, right now I'm just very busy with a lot of things, so... Um, you know, doing 12 games in December, I think, is not in the cards. Um, but we're going to play some fan-recommended games. I like, I really love, I shouldn't say like, I love doing the fan extravaganza. It is cool and fun to have you guys recommend games and then have you vote on them and stuff. So uh, we're still going to do all that. So keep an eye out. I'll make an announcement video very soon. Uh, but in case you were wondering what's going to happen in December, um, that is basically it. So... Uh, oh, look at this. We, like, found a secret. Debs. What is this? Can I spray these bananas? These nanners? And sort of knock them around. Oh, I can steal them. We got some bananas, boys! Yeah, there you go. Um, I don't know if that was a secret or what I was supposed to do that with that. Also, look at this red X here. Boom. So unlocked a secret coin. Anyway, guys, I hope you did have fun. And, uh, yeah, keep an eye out for all that fan extravaganza stuff and this and that. And, uh, yeah, anyway. Until next time, my friends, you all take care of yourselves. We'll see you soon. Peace.